it's not possible to anticipate all the challenges your child will face as they grow, whether they're starting school, joining a sporting team, or going on their first sleepover. What you can do is assist your child to learn how to approach the challenges they face by helping them learn how to problem solve. The first step in problem solving is identifying the problem. This can take time, especially because children sometimes have difficulty finding the words to tell us what the problem is. You may need to spend some time talking with your child to identify the problem. Use your active listening skills and make some tentative suggestions about what the issue might be. This will help your child learn to identify and explain the problem themselves. I give him support and uh, encouragement and I always talk to him, but uh, I let him to do everything rather than myself. So how are we dealing with his issues? I always try to give him um, to take his own uh, decisions. Then we come to the second step, finding solutions. Start by brainstorming some ideas together, maybe two or three solutions. For example, ask your child, what do you think you could do? Katie, you know how you're feeling a little bit nervous about school and maybe because you're not sure about which friend you're going to play with? Yeah. What do you think we can do about that? Now, Hannah, you were, we were talking before about you being a bit worried about not being able to open up your lunchbox. What could you do? All right. Are you a bit upset because you missed the shot? What do you think we need to do to get you hit the ball better? Together, you can then consider and choose which option they would like to try. Children might find thinking of ideas difficult at first and they'll need some help from an adult. But as they practice this strategy in different situations, they'll become more confident in coming up with their own solutions. Maybe you could ask your friend Olivia and your friend Stephanie if you could play with them. Can I just have another look? Just to make sure you can open it up. Wonderful. Practice every day? Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll work. Once your child has tried the solution, the third step of problem solving is to check in and see how it went. Do they need to brainstorm more solutions or did the solution they tried help? By talking with your child about this, you can get a sense of how they're feeling now. And it's also an opportunity to give some positive feedback for their efforts. If it didn't work, you can then encourage them to try something else or keep practicing. Remind them that sometimes you have to try a few different things before you find the solution that works. Katya, remember the other day you were feeling a little bit nervous about not having any friends to play with at school? Yeah. How are you feeling about that now? I'm still a little bit worried. What do you think we can do about that? That looks terrific. Now, Hannah, you were, we were talking before about you being a bit worried about not being able to open up your lunchbox. Now that we've practised a few times, how are you feeling? Much more better. Pasta? Yes. How do you think our cricket practice is going um, on? I'm good. Yes, you're improving. You're improving heaps. While building your child's problem-solving skills, it's also important that children understand you do not expect them to solve every problem alone. You can encourage your child to think of support people who can help them with problem solving. You can talk to your mum and dad, and my sister, your friend or your teacher. Mum and dad are a teacher. You can use everyday problems as an opportunity to show how you approach a challenging situation and how you might reach a solution. This could be as simple as losing your car keys in the morning. Model how you stay calm, stop, and then go on to think of a couple of solutions. Remember, children will benefit from lots of practice to learn how to think like this. It's a good idea to practice problem solving whenever the opportunity arises. 
starting school is a time of great change for children and their families. So helping your child to develop their problem-solving skills will help them face any bumps in the road. Learning to negotiate solutions to everyday problems and make decisions for themselves helps children to gradually become more independent and responsible, as well as feeling confident and good about themselves, an important part of mental health and well-being.